Good evening, families and friends. Hallelujah. Good evening, to you, brothers and sisters. Good evening to the body of Christ. What's it? Oh, you are. This is Sister Massa coming to you with the evening Wednesday evening video. Families and friends, you are highly welcome to join me on this video, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. You are highly welcome, brothers and sisters, to join me on this evening video. What's it? Oh, you are. Hallelujah. This is Sister Massa coming to you with this evening video on YouTube. Just to go in our generation, families and friends. I pray and I ask, brothers and sisters, as you search. As you come across my video, I want you to subscribe to this channel, share my videos, and leave a comment. God will highly bless you. Yes. Share my video and leave a comment. God will reach the blessing families and friends as you come across this channel. It's all about trusting God in our generation. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. God bless you as you join me this evening on this teaching, this evening. This evening teaching. When is the evening teaching? I always teach. I make new videos, brothers and sisters, on Wednesdays and Friday and Sundays. Hallelujah. On this channel. Brothers and sisters, our God is good all the time. Families and friends, loving and precious people of God, the body of Christ. God is good all the time and all the time God is good to you and I. He is good and kind and faithful, brothers and sisters. He is great and mighty. He shall have glory no man. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness upon your people. It is because of God, grace and mercy that we are alive, we are here today. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by spirit. I come to you this evening, my message to you this evening, brothers and sisters, about the God loves. We need to obey the laws of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. We need to obey God's laws. Hallelujah. Um, the first scripture we're going to do for you, in obeying God's laws in His word, as long as you live, I'll read for you Deuteronomy 20, 68. No, I'll read for you Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28. From 1. All the way down to 15 or 20. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. We need to obey the words of God, brothers and sisters, the laws of God. Hmm. If we don't obey his laws, it comes with consequence, brothers and sisters. Consequence that will affect us, our generation, in our children, children, in our future generation that is coming. Our children, children. We need to obey the words of the laws of God, brothers and sisters. It's very, very important, brothers and sisters, families and friends, for us to be obedient. We need to obey the laws of God. The laws of God is the only law on this earth that you and I have to obey until our last days. Yes. Because when we, when we, miss, when, when, when we disobey one, that's a consequence you and I will live for the rest of our life. I will read for you Deuteronomy, brothers and sisters, that telling us about the laws. I will read for you some other scripture, but let me start with Deuteronomy. But Deuteronomy is telling you and I this even about God laws. Fathers and friends, let me just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah Jara Eshada, Elohim, Papa God, whatsoever your people are this evening, I just invite them on this Wednesday evening teaching, Lord God. I bless your name. I just worship you, Father, for your kindness, your greatness, your faithfulness, your mercy, your grace. I thank you for your word that is coming forth, oh God, that Lord, your people will be the hero of your word and the doer of it. Let me decree you, God, increase on this platform, oh God. It's all about you. Yeshua Hamashiach. It's all about Jehovah Jara, Adonai Elohim, Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. Yahuwah, the God of the heaven and earth, the great that I am, the first and the last, I am that I am, the most high, Jehovah Nisi is his name. He's, it's all about him on this platform, brothers and sisters. It's all about him we are speaking about on this platform. As you join your sister, oh God, on this platform, Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your people that have subscribed to this channel, even those that are going to subscribe to this channel, that God you will bless their home, their family, oh God. Even as they share my videos and leave a comment, that Lord, you will also be a blessing to them, oh God, as they also help you to spread your gospel out there to people who need to hear the word of God. I tell you, thank you, Papa God. I bless you and I honor your name this hour for your word that is coming forth, oh God. I thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, on this even devote, in the, on the even teaching, I come to you this evening, brothers and sisters. I'm bringing a teaching to you this morning, this evening, about obey God's laws. Yes, we need to obey God's laws, families and friends. We need, brothers and sisters, families and friends, we need to obey the laws of God. The laws of God stand for the rest of our life. We need to be obedient. Obedient is better than sacrifice. We need to obey the word of God and fear the law. We need to fear God because if you fear God, you will obey His words. If you don't have the fear of God in you, how will you obey His words? We have to be children that is obedient, not rebellious, as the Israelites were rebellious against God. Hallelujah. 
We need to be obedient. We need to be obedient. We need to be humble. We need to obey and fear God, brothers and sisters. We need to fear this God because His wrath is too terrible, brothers and sisters. We get angry to destroy this world. This whole place will melt. There will be no creature that or nothing that will live on the planet Earth. My God will destroy this place. It will be terrifying. We need to examine our life and make things right with our makeup, brothers and sisters. We don't know, have no time to play church. We don't know, have no time to be playing around. We need to submit ourselves. We need to surrender. We need to repent and seek after our salvation. Ourselves, our children, and our household. We need to pray every day, brothers and sisters. For God to have mercy. In our time that we have, in the upper time that we have on us, we, make, we, need to, we need to make use of the time that we have while we are still alive to make things right with our makeup, brothers and sisters. Because anything can happen any time. Yes, you will have no excuse that you never listen to the word of God. When you are listening to the word of God, when people are telling you about the word of God, you are passing by the video and you are going to look for a funny video on the internet that you entertain yourself with. Instead of you entertaining yourself with the word of God. Hallelujah. And he will ask you a question. We all give account on the last days. I will stand to give account for my life. Yes, my children will give account. Every human being on this planet will stand before God to give account for the life that they lives on this in this world. Because the life that we are living, we don't own this life. It is God that owns this life. We will give account for it. That's why we need to watch and pray. We need to be watchful. We need to examine our life and make things revel our maker, Jehovah Jireh, Adonai, Elohim, the Most High. We need to make things revel him, brothers and sisters. We need to ask him for mercy because he's so merciful God. But his wrath is terrible. Yes. We cannot be sinning asking God for, 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 for asking for forgiveness and going back and continue to sin. You ask him forgive you, go back again, you sin. No. His grace cannot abandon, God forbid. He gave us the grace to God to be use of his grace. We are living on a grace, we're not living on a law, brothers and sisters. The only way you can live on the law. The only way you can live on a God grace, if you have repented and you are a child of God that have repented and you live in your life for Christ, Jesus, walking in holiness and faithfulness with him righteously. But if you don't do that, brothers and sisters, which means you are still living under the law of Moses that come with curses. But the first scripture we now will do for you this evening will be taken from the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28, brothers and sisters, it tells us, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. Brothers and sisters, he said, it shall come to pass this day. It shall come to pass today in our life, as I'm speaking to you now. It shall come to pass now, if you and I were hacking onto the voice of the Lord diligently, hmm, to observe to do all his commandments he had commanded you and I to do, the Ten Commandments, which of course again, two greatest ones, the two greatest ones when the disciples asked Jesus, Master, which is which commandment is the greatest of all? He says, Serve that God, that Lord, that God, with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, and mind, and strength. Hell, hallelujah. And love your neighbor as yourself. He said, If we observe to do his commandment, brothers and sisters, and observe to do it, his commandment that he has commanded, you and I to do that he commanded the, the commandment he gave to Moses that he wrote on the plot, brothers and sisters. And give it to Moses, those commandments. He said, if we will observe to do them day by day, that he had commanded all this day, this day, if we, the commandment that he had commanded you and I to go back, this day, if we'll go back his commandment, hmm. if we'll go by his commandment this day, that the Lord that God will set the on high above all nations of the earth, he will set up. High above all nations of the earth, brothers and sisters. God will set all high above all nations. No nation will ever you and I. We will be special, we will be protected, we will be filled, we will be blessed, brothers and sisters. And to say, and, and all this blessing shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If you and I will walk into the status of God, he obey his commandment that he commanded Moses to give you and I, brothers and sisters. Do you know the promises that God gave to us in obeying his commandment? Do you know the promises he has given to you and I, brothers and sisters? If we obey his commandment, the promises that he gave unto us, do you know? These are the promises now. I'm coming to read to you. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And, and, and all this blessing shall come upon thee and overtake thee, he said. 
If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, all these blessings will come and overtake you and I. If we will hearken unto the voice of him, God Almighty. Jehovah means the creator of the universe. The creator of mankind. Hallelujah. They want to hold the universe and the key to our life. If we will hearken unto his word this day to do his commandment. He said, all these blessings will come and overtake you and I. Hey, hallelujah. That will know how it will take, will take us, brothers and sisters. Blessed shall that be in the city and blessed shall that be in the field. Hallelujah. You will be blessed in the city and you'll be blessed in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body and the fruit of the ground. Hallelujah. The fruit of our body. Hallelujah. Everything that comes from all our body will be fruitful. Our children will be fruitful. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Abraham. Thank you, oh, Jesus. He said, blessed shall there be the fruit of the body, the fruit of the ground, the fruit of the cattle, the increase of the king in the world, in the flock of the sheep. Hallelujah. Everything that you own, brothers and sisters, it will be blessed. Down to your cattle, your sheep, your chicken, everything will be blessed. Your mess server, everything will be blessed. Those that are working on you, everybody will be blessed, brothers and sisters. Down to your animal, all be blessed. He said, blessed shall the fruit be, okay, then. Fire said, blessed shall be the basket in a storehouse. Blessed will be your basket, brothers and sisters. Your basket will be full. You will not go hungry. You will not go dry. Whenever time you need money, you will get, get money. Some will get, come and be a blessing to you. Your hand will not go dry because you are blessed. When he said, blessed will be your storehouse, which means you already have enough, then you get enough in your storehouse. That you are keeping to also give to people that will come and ask you for help. Blessed will your storehouse, your storehouse will be blessed. Your basket will be filled, brothers and sisters. Blessed shall that be when that come in, and blessed shall that be when I go out. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Blessed shall that be when I go in. Blessed shall that be when I go out. Blessed shall that be that I come in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I go out, and when I come in and go out, he said, The Lord shall cause the enemies that rise against thee to be smitten before thy face. The Lord, God Almighty, will cause your enemy that will rise up against you in any way they can come against you, brothers and sisters. Whereby you are not offending anybody, but they just hate you for no reason. When they come against you, in any way they come against you, God will make them to be smitten before you. He will smite them before you. This is the promise he has made to you and I if we're only hacking onto his word and, and, and do his commandment. Brothers and sisters, observe to do his commandment. He said, the Lord shall cause an enemy that will rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee one way, and they shall flee seven different ways. So shall it be unto me, so shall it be unto your children, your children, children, our generation, brothers and sisters. If we teach our children to walk in holiness of the Lord, and they will walk in front of our foster brothers and sisters. God will make our enemies be smitten before us, and anyone that plays evil against you and our brothers and sisters, when they come against us one way, God will make them to flee seven different ways. Yes. The enemy plan will not fulfill in our life. It will not come to fulfillment. No. If they come against you and I one way, eh? God make them to flee seven different ways, brothers and sisters. Seven different ways they will flee. Thank you, Lord, for your promises. It said, the Lord shall command blessing upon thee in the storehouse. He will command. He said he will give, but he will command. He will speak to the people. People who need to be a blessed, who need to bless you with something. God will speak to the heart to come and bless you. Whenever your hair is dry, whenever you are struggling, he will speak to heart of people to come to be a blessing to you. Thank you, Lord, for your word this evening. God of Abraham. He said, the Lord shall command the blessing upon the storehouse in the store. I mean, the, in the, the, Lord, the Lord shall command blessing upon thee in the storehouse. And in all that thou settest the eyes upon. Hallelujah. The hands upon. Thank you, Lord. And he which shall bless thee in the land which the Lord that God has given thee. Whatever land God has given you, brothers and sisters, whatever you find yourself, you can be in that country no matter how I say that country is high. God could bless you in that land. He is the God of promises. Whatever promise he made, he won't stay forever. He won't, he won't go back to him for. He said he's going to bless us, brothers and sisters. In the land where we are, he's going to bless us. He said, for that I give thee. Every land we find ourselves in, in this country that we are in, Norway, 
whatsoever that is high in your spirit, God will make way out of nowhere for his children that believe and trust in him and live according to his principle, his status, and his commandment. God will never fail us. He will never leave us. No. Now I say, the Lord shall establish thee and hold the people unto himself as he has so unto thee. He will make with us to be and hold the people unto himself. If thou shalt keep the commandment of the law and walk in his ways, he's telling us again, brothers and sisters, if we learn to hold unto his commandment, we do his commandment, then the blessings will follow you and our brothers and sisters. All these blessings he's talking about, if we only remain obedient and hearken unto his voice and do what he wants us to do and live according to his commandment and do his will, brothers and sisters, thank you, Lord, and do his will, this is what he's saying to you and I. Oh. I'm going to go back to 28. It changed. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He said, in the language that the Lord that God has given thee, he said, the Lord shall establish thee and hold the people to himself. He will establish you and I and hold the people for himself, which means we will be for God. When God is for you, who can be against you, brothers and sisters? When God is for you, when God for his children, nobody can ever give, no one can be against his children when God is for you. No man, no man for that matter can be against you. Because he will make up to be his holy people that he has sown. The people unto himself as he has sown unto thee. When he says sown unto thee, which means he has promised our forefather that he will be there for us, will be his people. If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord, that God, and walk in his ways. Yene, this is that. Ten say, and all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Hallelujah. All the people in the world, all the people on this earth, in this world, brothers and sisters, they will see or they know that we are the children of God. They will be afraid of us because when we move, we move authority, we'll be powerful. Brothers and sisters, when we only obey the commandment of God, we'll be powerful people. In this land, in this world that we find ourselves in, we will be powerful people, brothers and sisters. The enemy, they will flee for us when we are coming. Because God will give us the power. Yeah, God will give us the power, brothers and sisters. He will give us the power. He said he will not leave us, nor forsake us. He will manifest his power. You'll get up power. You see the power is talking about when you are coming, people will be running. He said people will be afraid of you, which means you will be walking with authority and power you'll carry. Hallelujah. That 10, 11 say, And the Lord shall make that plenteous in goods, in the fruit of the barley, and in the fruit of the cattle, in the fruit of the ground, in the, in the land which the Lord has sown unto the fathers to give thee. Hallelujah. The land that he promised to give to the ancient law, brothers and sisters, the land foot with milk and honey. He said he will give it to his, he will give it to them that he has sown. He told his four, their forefathers, Abraham and Jacob and Isaac and Moses, Elijah and Elijah. He promised them that he going to give the land unto his children. He make a promise unto them. Then he said he would give all that land. Thank you, Lord. And the blessing flow everywhere, brothers and sisters. In the land you find yourself in, brothers and sisters. Go. Until the ancient land can come together in the end time when Jesus Christ is coming back for his second coming, his second return, that we all gather together in Jerusalem, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Jesus. God, Jesus will go for the full corner of the earth to gather his people. Everywhere people, his children are scattered. He will go and gather people from there and take everybody from where they are. Brothers and sisters, it's a promise he said. He will do. He said, The Lord will open unto thee a great good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in the season, and to bless all the works of thy hands, and thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Brothers and sisters, the time is coming, brothers and sisters, as you walk into the status of the law and do his commandment, brothers and sisters, when God blesses his children, the children of Israel, the Israel law. Brothers and sisters, we will learn to court you, we will never borrow. People will be afraid of us because of the power and authority God going to give to us in the time that is coming, brothers and sisters. He what has said it. He said, 
He will open up treasure unto you and I. He will give rain to fall on the land. Whatsoever rain cannot fall, brothers and sisters, he will make the ground fruitful. Rain will fall on our land in season, brothers and sisters. And he's going to bless the work of our hands. And thou shalt not thou shalt lend to many nations. Brothers and sisters, when God blesses his children, we will lend to so many nations in the world. Yes, that is a promise God has made to you and I. We will lend to many nations. We will not be able to borrow. If we have been borrowing before, where we are, everything here is ever borrow and lend and loan. But when time comes, brothers and sisters, we don't want to give to nations. We will not be able to borrow anymore. We just give to nations. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. 13 say, And the Lord shall make thee the hair and not the tail. You understand what he's saying? This is obeying the words of God. If you obey the word of God, brothers and sisters, then this thing will happen unto you. If you obey the word of God, then you will receive this blessing. We need to obey the word of God, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Good. He said, and the Lord shall make thee the hair and not the tail. And shall be above but not beneath. Thou shall be, that shall not be beneath. If thou hack it unto the commandment of the Lord. You see what he's saying again? He always comes with a conjunction, but you and I, brothers and sisters, if we will hack it unto the voice of the Lord, he said. If we will hack it unto the voice of the Lord, this is what he's going to do. If we will be obedient into his word, uh, 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 to his word and walk into his statutes, blessings shall follow you and I, brothers and sisters. Yes, blessings shall follow us. If we hack it unto the voice of the Lord, he said we will be the hair but not the tail. We will be above but not beneath. We will never go beneath anybody in any kind of situation. We will not go beneath. We will always be the hair but not the tail. We will go above but not beneath. Brothers, there is a promise. As we, then he come with a conjunction against it, but He's saying, he said, If thou hacking unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I commanded thee this day to observe and to do them. You hear what he's saying? You will not be disobedient and God bless you. No. You will not be disobedient to the word of God and God make you the hair. You will not be disobedient to God and God make you the hair or he make you above. No. He will not do that. You have to obey it. You have to be obedient to his word. Then he will fulfill his promises concerning you and I that will be above, not beneath, will be the head, but not the tail. Promise and friends. Thank you, Jesus. 14. 14 said, And thou shalt go, thou shalt not go as far. We shall not go as far from what? From any of the world which I commanded thee, thee this day to the left, to the right, to the left hand, or to the left hand. You know? We should not go from the the, 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 the the commandment of God. We should not go from the left and to the right. We should not go against his word. We should not go find other gods or other solutions to another God that will be able to give us riches or money or love. He said, don't go from it, his word, neither from your from your what? From your right or to your left. Do not go from it. After other gods to serve them. You hear what he's saying? It's not, he said, do not go from the left or the right from his word. To go serve other gods. People are serving other gods in the world. This is why the anger of God is coming. This is why the rebellious and the wicked are itself. Because people are disobedient to our God, our maker. We don't want to follow his rules. 15 said, If that shall, he said, But if it come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hallelujah. Now he ready to tell you about the curses that will follow you and our brothers and sisters. If we remain disobedient to not obey the words of God, to walk into his status and his commandment in this world, we want to follow after other gods, idols to worship, and all this crap they are talking about, and falling after them, and forget about the rules and the love of God. Let me tell you now the curses he said. He said, curse shall be Cash shall that be in the city? He ready to curse you now. Yes. If be disobedient to his word, he is telling you and ah. He said, Cash shall that be in the city? Cash shall that be in the field? Cash shall that be in the cash shall the basket be in the storehouse? Cash shall that be the fruit of the body and the fruit of the land? And the increase of the king and the flock and the, the sheep. Cash will be it if we disobey his word. The Lord shall send upon 
the curses vegetation and rebuke in all that that set us the hands upon to do until that be destroyed and until that perish quickly be because of the wickedness of that doing whereby thou hast forsaken me hallelujah brothers and sisters can you listen to us chapter 20 god said he's going to kiss us the blessing that he was blessing you and i intend to curse us now because of this opinion yeah he was blessing you and i in deuteronomy when i read deuteronomy 28 brothers and sisters hallelujah let me see I stopped the 20 stay plenty. I cannot go. I stopped, brothers and sister. He telling you about the curses now. He tell all, all the good, good thing about when we obey his word, the blessing that will follow you and I. Brothers and sisters, he tell all the good blessings and the good words and the good promises he has made unto us. But then starting from 15, he said, if we were not hacking unto his voice, brothers and sisters, the curses are going to follow us. It will follow us until we are pairing with curses. There will be nothing good that you and I will do, will succeed. We'll be cursed in the land, in the field. Everything that we do from our hand to do will be cursed. Our animal will be cursed. Our children will be cursed. The fruit of our body will be cursed. Everything will be cursed, brothers and sisters. But one thing I want to tell you. One good news I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters. If you are a child that has surrounded and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, brothers and sisters, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that He is the only begotten Son of the living God, that He's coming back to take away His people, brothers and sisters, and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and be baptized and turn away from your wicked, will repent and surrender and live your life for Jesus Christ and walk into the study of God and obey his law, brothers and sisters. No curses will follow you because, which means, Jesus Christ's blood has taken you from under the curses. The blood of Jesus has taken you from under the curses. So when you are saved, you are not under the curse anymore. But when you are not saved, you are under the curse of Moses' law. So salvation here is the best, brothers and sisters. We need to be saved so we cannot be under these curses. So we cannot be under these curses. We not be saved and self and accept Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior, and live according to God's statutes, His commandment. That we'll be blessed in the land, in the field, we'll be the head and not the tail. But if we don't do it, brothers and sisters, I'm sorry. Curses is going to fall out until we pray with curses. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, we cannot change it. God will have already said, you know He will never go back to Him for. You know that. He will never go back to Him for. He sent it. When He sent His word, it go and accomplish. What purpose he has sent it for, brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Praise be to him this evening, brothers and sisters. I thank God. Thank you for his word this evening. Whatever you are, thank you for joining me on this on this evening devote, on this teaching this evening, brothers and sisters. I read from Deuteronomy. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy. I read from Deuteronomy 1 to 20. That is the laws of God we need to obey. The laws of God, we need to obey the laws of God, brothers and sisters, pressure and loving people. We need to obey his laws and his statutes that will not live under the curses of Moses' law. Prominence and friends, we need to accept Jesus Christ, the so coming Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, the King of the world, the King of kings and Lord of law, the Savior of all the entire world, the one that blood can wash away our sins. Animal blood cannot wash away your sin. No good blood can wash away your sin. The only blood that can wash away the sin of a man is the blood of Jesus. So what's it when you are, brothers and sisters, as I come to you this evening with this, with this teaching this evening concerning obeying the laws of God that will live in peace, brothers and sisters. Join me, brothers and sisters. This time, whatsoever you are, if you are not yet accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, brothers and sisters, I would like for you to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. It's not yet too late for you to confess, for you to repent, for you to live according to the according to God's plan for your life hallelujah you can accept it as the Lord and personal Savior say Lord Jesus here I am I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior from today's day Papa God you are the head of my life Jesus Christ you are I believe that you are the son of the living God that came to die on the cross of Calvary for the mission of our sin I accept you as my Lord and Savior from today you are the head of my life you lead my life lead and guide my life and direct my path Papa God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, take control of my life. Let me turn my back on this world and pick up the cross and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me walk in the status of God. Let me obey his commandment. Hallelujah. And walk into your purpose concerning my life, Papa God. 
From today, I should not turn back to the world. Let me say, bow back to the world. Pick up the cross and follow Jesus in righteousness and get baptized, brothers and sisters. And you are welcome in the kingdom of the Lord. You are highly welcome in the kingdom of God Almighty as the body of Christ, as one of our brothers or our sisters that have joined the union, the family of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I'll leave you with this video today. May God keep you and guard you. As I come to the end of this video, may God keep and guide you and protect each and every one of us. He's so good and faithful, brothers and sisters. Let him will be done in our life, not our way, but his will. Let the peace of God be with you until another live video. As I come to the end of this video, brothers and sisters, may God Almighty keep you. May he keep you, guard you, protect you from harm and danger. May he make a face to shine upon you, brothers and sisters, and give you peace that surpasses all understanding, now and forevermore. Peace I live with you. Shalom, stay blessed.